what is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is sydney if you're new here we are getting back into the swing of things when i was pregnant i did not very did not vlog very much just because i honestly was not a fan of being pregnant and just vlogging was not on my priority list i was just trying to get through each day and then we've just been really busy since having remy i'm currently just getting ready for the day remy is down for a nap but it looks like she is not very happy right now so i may go in and check on her in a little bit if she doesn't calm down even though i'm literally not gonna be going anywhere today i still want to like get put together and just feel good about myself and my appearance so far i'm feeling really good with my body and like i am so ready to start working out it looks like she just fell back asleep so we are in the clear okay so i'm gonna do my little um post three week postpartum update first right now i'm wearing an alpha elite sports bra i bought this like right before i found out i was pregnant and um so i didn't really get to wear it very much so i'm happy that i finally can wear it it's not really like functional for breastfeeding but um it's fun to just like have on for now i guess so i am three weeks postpartum my belly is so tan in the front because um i tanned a lot while i was pregnant and then when it all like scrunched together it got really dark so white here and super tan here which is kind of funny but um so yeah i honestly am shook by the amount that my belly has gone down and it's really insane this is flex i can't believe you can like kind of see my obliques my cat like is not home right now and i always get so paranoid so i'm like constantly checking my ring to see if she's like in the backyard but no she's not yesterday me and remy went to hobby lobby and i wanted to show you guys some of the things that i got because i still had a gift card from christmas that i hadn't finished using so i want to show you guys the things that i got okay so i got this little like wooden tray and i got these little pine cone um acorn things that i'm gonna put in it as like a little decor piece i'm really excited to see how that looks i plan on like putting it over here under the tv i'm gonna redo this whole thing for fall and then um these are just some hangers i got off amazon for remy's clothes they're just the amazon basics hangers but then i also got these little placemats to put on the table just a little pop of orange and then this really cute um wooden pumpkin so adorable and all of the like fall decor was 50 percent off at hobby lobby i love getting all my fall decor in hobby lobby though i always get new pieces every year and it's honestly one of my favorite things to or one of my favorite seasons to decorate for and also this is from uh target it was in the dollar section i think it was like three dollars at target so this stuff is kind of sitting here until I actually decorate. Dylan is probably not going to let me decorate quite yet, but I don't know. I'm home alone all day, so who knows I may. But it's only halfway through August, so it's still a little bit early. It's honestly so crazy how fast time goes with a newborn because I feel like I literally just fed Remy and it's already almost time for her next feeding. Like, I've been feeding her every two and a half hours. And it's so crazy how fast two and a half hours goes by. Because when I feed her, usually it lasts like 45 minutes because I have to burp her in between, change her diaper to kind of wake her up halfway and put her on the other side. So by the time that I'm finished, it's already been like, 45 minutes and then i'll have to feed her again in an hour and 15 minutes it's just like so breastfeeding is so demanding i love it and i'm so thankful that i'm able to do it but holy cow it is so demanding and i just can't believe how fast time flies in a day i need to eat some food because breastfeeding makes you so hungry i am literally starving constantly
day y'all it is actually the next day look who decided to come home she decided to come home super late last night i was so freaking worried so i actually like just stopped vlogging altogether because i was so worried about her and i could not focus on anything until she got home but i am going to head to the grocery store now these shorts they're from amazon i'll have them linked down below oh little football little football little, little, oh. she just pooped he just changed her, di her diaper but mom's gonna go to the grocery store get it mama all right, we are off to the store. It feels so impossible to like get anything done because I started feeding her at 12.30. I just finished feeding her. It's like 1.15 and I already have to feed her again at 2.30. So I'm like, how the heck am I gonna be back in time for her next feeding? It's just like so busy, but like I have to go to the grocery store. I have to. So I am like in a rush right now to get to the grocery store, get groceries and then be back for her next feeding. I wouldn't change anything for the world. Like, I love being a mom and I love her needing me so much, but holy cow, I feel like I cannot get anything done around here and it's just chaos. I have to be back at least by three because Dylan has a football scrimmage. That's exciting. I'm gonna um, go to that with her and it'll be fun to watch him and just to get out of the house because we're just constantly inside. All right, we are loaded up with groceries. Just some ground beef, lettuce, cilantro, avocados, spinach, bread, Dylan's bread, bananas, um, this is for Dylan. Caesar salad. Shredded lettuce. We're gonna do like a taco night. And then these are Don't eggs. Show me I'm naked. <laughs> um, buns, because we're gonna have burgers. Um, bagels. Cottage cheese for Dylan. Strawberries. Bars for when I breastfeed and I'm hungry. Um, egg whites for Dylan. Kind bars. Cheese. Deodorant. This is literally chaos. Um, burgers, Dylan, I got, I got 73% lean burgers. Are you happy? Those are the fat, oh, seven, that, no, those are really fatty then. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right. Whoops, I thought I got, dang it, I thought I got the lean ones. Whoops. Dang it, I'm sorry, I fricked up. Um, rice crackers, oatmeal. Sweet potato fries, tortillas for Dylan, spaghetti, because I'm doing spaghetti night, rice, whatever these are, flour, because I'm going to do banana bread, sour cream, cottage cheese, yeah, and then over here, oranges, apples, grapes, and limes. Getting ready to go to a scrimmage, because Dylan is coaching high school football. We are gonna go, but I need to get some food or milk together for her just in case we're there long. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. So we're just have a bottle warmer. We're gonna try to do this one handed. Just try to do this, okay? It is a few days later and I just got finished with a Peloton ride. It has felt so good to finally start working out well, what's going on with my exposure. Just a sec. Okay, that's better. Um, It has been so good, feeling so good to just sweat and work out. Just finished a uh, easy little Peloton ride and now I'm gonna do some deep core and pelvic exercises. There's this account that I follow on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below, but she has a bunch of videos for like specific weeks postpartum. Right now I'm week four and I've been doing those workouts to kind of just help strengthen my core and my pelvis and they're super light and not hard at all. I can see the light from your bedroom door You've been staying up late 
Dylan and I had tacos the other night, so I'm just making some leftover tacos. I really want to vlog and like make videos like this for you guys, but also like for myself so I can look back and remember like these little moments in my life. But it's also just like such a weird concept. I don't know if maybe it's because I'm like a mom now. It puts me like in such a vulnerable state to just like share my life with everybody and just having like random strangers like watch my life like it's a show i don't know at the same time like i love vlogging and i love documenting and i love relating to people because you know i feel like when i first started college i didn't really have like people that i could relate with and it would have been nice to have you two more at the beginning of my like going into college because I feel like I really found myself when I started watching YouTube videos. That's why I love making them because not only do I want to have the memories for myself, but I also want to make content for people to relate to and, you know, just feel like they're not so alone. I want to start vlogging more and making more videos, but I also like don't know if I really want to fully share my life, you know? So I'm just kind of like in a pickle right now thinking about that kind of stuff because I'm not sure what I want to do. On the topic of that, I don't really think that I want to like fully share Remy on my channel. I want to, you know, show parenting content and like me being a mom but i don't really want to like fully expose remy and like constantly just have the camera on her i really just want to protect her because this world is crazy you guys there's a lot of crazy people out there and that's also why i don't really know how i feel about fully vlogging anymore i just like this i don't even know i really want to start documenting my fitness journey postpartum that is like what i really want to base my channel around is still fitness and healthy lifestyle meals and all that stuff yes i'm a mom now but i don't want to like have my daughter fully on my channel i really don't i want to protect her and i want to keep her to myself keep her within my family and friends and yeah I will still have her, you know, like show me being a mom and like taking care of her and stuff. But like I said, yeah, I'm not going to have the camera like fully just on her and focus on her.